Hey, Ronnie Dahl, Four Wheeling in Western Australia.com. What's in the box? Stay tuned and you'll find out. So what is in the box? Uh, what's in the box? I'm pretty sure some of you guys can guess it already. I'm not gonna open it yet, so you have to wait. So this is my V-Log 2017.4. So my fourth V-Log for the year. I don't do these very often and uh, only do them when I have a few things to announce and say. For example, what's in the box and a few other things, exciting things that are happening with the channel. So, where should we start? No, I'm not gonna open it yet. We'll get to that soon. So let's start with collaborations. I'll make this as quick as I possibly can. So much stuff to talk about. So I have had a lot of people ask me, when is the next collaboration going to happen between myself and Andrew Watt from 4 by Overland? We are going to catch up soon and discuss the next video. Now, I don't wanna to give too much away, but it's going to be vehicle based specifically with my vehicle and his, but you'll have to wait to find out. Now, I have also had a lot of people request a modified episode on his uh, Land Cruiser Troopy. And look, I'll bring up the topic with him and I'm sure it's something we can do at a later stage. I believe he's still building the vehicle. I'm pretty sure he's into phase two of his build. So we'll see. The next collaboration, which is quite exciting as well, we've already shot one and that was with Harry, Harry Fisher from Fire to Fork. The same Harry that was on the Pilbara series. And if you haven't watched that, there is a link up there. You can binge watch the whole six part series. So we are going to do a fire only based cooking video. The rules are fire, heat beads, and hot coals. That is all we're allowed to use. We're not allowed to use any gas or anything like that. So it's all fire based cooking so that you guys can get some great ideas and hopefully be entertained with our Kind of a bit out of control antics every now and then, but hopefully not too bad. I've got to edit the video first, so I don't even know what it's going to look like yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be interesting. We are also going to shoot other videos on everything to do with camp cooking and you know tips on how to clean your stuff and how to use your cast iron, all that kind of stuff. So some really cool content coming your way. Welcome to my office. This is where all the magic happens after all the recording happens out in the field. And you may think that it takes longer to record than it does to edit. Not really, it takes a long time to edit in here. And a project I've spent a lot of, well, invested a lot of time into is something I want to show you a preview of, which is coming very soon. And this is the Goldfields uh, bit of a off-road adventure that I did. Had my brother-in-law in my vehicle and we had a 200 series driven by a fellow called Graham. Let's have a look. After this series has been completed, I will then release the Kimberly series shortly after. Now that I'm going to start editing soon and that is going to be the biggest editing adventure video that I would have undertaken to date. It is going to be huge. I have a second YouTube channel. It used to be called Ronnie Dale Photography. Now I just renamed it Ronnie Dale 2 because then it's not just about photography. So, that channel is independent to the main channel. The main channel will remain as it is with the uh, Patreon support and everything. Ronnie Dale 2 will be an, its own sort of channel. 
but you may find some behind the scenes. Uh, I may talk about how I became a YouTuber uh, and I may cover things like topics I want to discuss and it could be anything full drive, uh, camping and in general or even photography and videography based. So even camera reviews. Also in big news, I will be releasing a video over on Ronnie Dale 2 about me seeking to get someone to join me and help me grow the Ronnie Dale channel. And what I'm saying is someone who's keen in photography, videography, someone who wants to learn some stuff, someone who's technology savvy. Now, more about that over on Ronnie Dale 2. So if that's you, check it out on the link up there. All right, let's talk about the modified series on my YouTube channel. Now, I'm not gonna open this box yet. I will shortly. So I'm gonna try and make this as quick as I can. The next three episodes coming up, well, one's already been released. There was a Prado, petrol Prado. Uh, then we have a D22, awesomely set up, really well. One of the best set up D22s I've seen getting around. And then we have an 80 series, uh, chopped 80 series Land Cruiser. We also got Harry's 80 series coming up as well. And a few more. But recently, I just came back from New South Wales, Gloucester. I shot four vehicles over there. And the reason why I want to bring this up is there's two reasons. The, one, there's, there's four awesome vehicles, one of which, I'm not going to spoil the other ones, one of which is a 6x6 Land Rover X Army Defender. It is so cool the way it's been set up. The guy who owns it has done all the stuff himself. It is so well set up. Awesome vehicle, possibly my favourite in the modified series because it's very different. Now, how did I manage to afford to fly over there? Because given my current status with the channel, it is my full-time job, but I can't af afford flights and accommodation. It's kind of bare bones. I'm just getting the diesel in to go out and do all the adventure series and all that stuff. No complaints whatsoever because it is a growing channel, but I would like to grow faster than what the revenue is growing. So in order to do that, I managed to get some help from Drifter, full drive and camping, or camping and full drive, Drifter, whichever way you say it. Luke Sutton, the owner, paid for my flights, paid for my accommodation, looked after me when I was over there, and the deal was, well, the deal that I said to him was, I will shoot two vehicles that has your gear on it, and I also want to shoot two other vehicles that I just pick. And if they had his gear or not, it didn't really matter to me. It turns out these two didn't have any of his gear in it. He's happy with that, because he gets a, a plug, you guys get some content, and I get funding to fly over and shoot these vehicles. So it all works in with everyone. Now, if there are any other businesses who are interested, because this is the reason why I'm bringing this up, is because I like to go to Queensland, Northern Territory, look, even Tasmania, Victoria, um, South Australia, just making sure I don't leave any states out. Of course, I am still shooting in WA, so don't worry, Western Australia. Most of my vehicles will always be shot here because I live here, right? So if you are a business owner, I will not use your showroom vehicle. However, if you have clients that have bits of your gear on their vehicle, I'm happy to feature those vehicles so long as they are worth featuring. My email's down below. If you own some vehicles, you got some mates, you all own really cool vehicles, you think are worthy of modified, email's down below. Business owners, email down below. Let's get something happening. Oh, what's been in the waiting. I've been waiting. I've been waiting a long time for this. Uh, now, I know what's in here because I opened it with the kids at home. So, you know, and I knew what it was before I even opened the box. But you guys haven't seen it yet, so let's have a look. It's a nice box, by the way. So here we go. There's a letter here. So before I show you what's underneath here. Uh, I'll just read the two first paragraphs and you can freeze the screen if you want to read the whole lot. Uh, where am I going to hold it here? Uh, there we go. Freeze the screen. You've just done something that very few YouTube creators can accomplish. You've had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. We know that numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope that you don't lose sight of the reality behind the six digit milestone. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel uh, has been touched by what you created. They were inspired, challenged, or entertained. So, I mean, to me, this is official now with the 100,000. It has taken a while. I mean, 125,000 
I'm up to now. So it's taken, you know, between the time of 100,000 to now to, um, to get this. But it's in out and that's all that matters. So here we go. Da da. Let's bring it a bit closer so you can see. All right. So there we go. Congratulations for surpassing 100,000 subscribers. Woohoo! So first up, I'd like to thank again each and every single one of my subscribers. Obviously, without you guys, this can't happen. Um, but I'd also like to thank, well, an even bigger thank you to my patrons on Patreon. You guys have made this milestone reachable a lot quicker than what it would have been reached. Because, because of you guys, this is now my full-time gig and I have the time, because it is my full-time gig, to shoot all this content and make all these videos, which then helps the channel grow. And I'm pretty certain that all my subscribers are appreciative of that there are people out there who are willing to crowdfund creators like myself to be able to make all this independent uh, content. So thank you very much and cannot be done without you guys. So massive thank you. Um, I'd also like to thank Brian, my dad, uh, Torben and Wayne for helping shooting these videos as well. Um, you guys are making it a lot more easier to do. Um, but um, yeah, it's official now. I have the play button. So, the next stage of the Ronnie Dale channel, where are we going to go to now? Time will tell. So, thank you very much for watching. You can subscribe. Let's put it just below the play button. And, you know, if you want to support creation, patreon.com.au. No obligation, just there if you want to. And there is a random video somewhere on the screen. Thank you very much again. See ya.